Music is the voice that tells us that the human race is greater than it knows. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on, uh, one more time. Okay. Music is the voice that tells us that the human race is greater than it knows. Oh, well, I'd have to agree. And I don't know about music today with our generation, because let's be honest, it's a bunch of poop. <laughs> um, but, like, you know, you, you take Beethoven's symphonies, for example, those are just, they're so emotional. And there are some things that you can't express with words that can only be done through an instrument, through the notes, the chords, you know, et cetera and so forth. Yeah, I completely agree with that. I think that um, music is definitely a gateway to the soul and that um, it can express through instruments what we can't necessarily do through words. Some people are gifted with words, some are not. Um, and I definitely feel that music tells a story. Agreed. <laughs> I can agree with that um, if you're listening to my music. Um, anybody else I can't speak for. But I like to try to elevate. To think about that, it's, it's like music, music is uh, a form of expression that sort of, you know, it exists, um, you know, sort of in, in vibrations in the air. It's, uh, it's intangible, but then completely tangible. And often, you know, I mean, it, it resonates in a way that, uh, you know, is, is quite beyond words, even if there are words. And that level of comprehension and processing, I think, is pretty impressive. So go human beings and go musicians. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Excellent. All that. right. Now, what would you say um, if I told you that Napoleon said that quote? Do you think Napoleon would be a fan of your music having said that quote? Um, well, that's very interesting. Napoleon said that quote. Wow. Um, I would say uh, I'd like to think so. But then um, I'm kind of at the stage where I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm just writing what I like. So, if he liked it, that's great. I would hope so, because I'd probably lose my head if, if, he, if he didn't like it. So, in that case, I would hope that he would. I think it is a good quote, because they were putting together such beautiful things back then. And, and when that was happening, there were such horrible things still happening. I, I think there weren't even toilets back then. So, I think that kind of uh, compounds like how horrible things were back then. Not to mention, people were doing just whatever. So. Not like the rules we have today. So, what you're saying, I don't think you'd be surprised to find out that this quote is actually from Napoleon. Nah. <laughs> um, a little bit, because I didn't know he was into music. I, I thought it was just war and stuff. Would you have any idea who you think that quote possibly could be from? Um... Not a clue, Let, let's say uh, John Lennon. Good, good thought. It was actually Napoleon. Na Napoleon Bonaparte? Yes. Holy poo, no, I had not a clue. <laughs> Fantastic. Isn't that amazing? No idea he was such a music buff. No, no, he, it didn't get him very far though. <laughs> I'm Whitney and this is One Idea and Five People.